is right. Let me know when the fish are gonna bite. I wanna be there. Gonna be there. Well, I've got my gear and I got my truck. All I need is a bit of luck. I'm gonna be there. Gonna be there. Here we are guys, let's uh, see what we're dealing with, go for our ride on the beach, water clarity don't look bad, it's not as uh, rough as it was yesterday, good separation on the waves, yeah. looks like the wind direction might be from the west, what times the tides? Let's see. So we've got a low tide at about 11 o'clock. So we've got two hours for it to drop. Driving looks good. Oh look, someone's sunbathing. No, they're walking. Cloud <laughs> walking. <laughs> so it's overcast. Wind is from north northwest, slightly offshore, according to the flag as we came in. Water clarity is holding at about, I don't know, a seven. Driving looks good. The birds look cold. <laughs> All right, you stay with me. I will give you a report. We're gonna go definitely south of the high banks, which is from the 19 through to about 28. So I'll keep you posted. So we're coming up to a yacht that's washed ashore. It's been here a few days. I saw a couple of pictures of it a couple of days back. Nice yacht. And it looks like it was rigged when it went, when it was either abandoned or something. It looks like their jib is unfurled, but I'm not sure. We're coming up to it. <laughs> Reminds me of the galleons that got washed ashore in that hurricane with all the people on them. They got washed in at what's called the Devil's Elbow. And that was full of gold, Spanish gold, apparently. And uh, Abby. Uh, and so they went ashore, and most of the crew and whatever decided they were gonna walk south. And as they did, they were picked off by the Kronkor, one at a time believed to have been eaten so the one guy stayed on board and the Spanish came back to retrieve the gold and I believe they got about 40% of the gold that was on the actual ships the rest got lost rumor is it there's things down here called like money hills and um, so that's the story as much as I know but anyhow here you go let's have a look and see what we've got here it's a really nice oh, it's yacht. Flag. It's not the chip. No, that's the chip. It is the chip? Yeah. Torn up. Mm -hmm. Which makes me think it might have been on. Oh, I mean that that cost a lot of money. Yeah. Uh, someone's been on board. Well there's somebody parked here too. Oh they're right. There's a pelican up there just sitting there. Why would you do that? They don't know who it is because it's got a number on it. Yeah. All right, mates, more interesting stuff to come, let's hope. So another piece of something washed up. Looks like a big mm, tank. anchor marker or something. I was once driving the beach with Billy we were talking about stuff and I asked him how he saw himself and he said he considered himself the third keeper of the beach and he named the two other guys that had done it. Names that I've heard but I just can't remember at the moment. So he then asked me how did I see myself and I said well 
if he if he could remember a big old boy that was on the seashore which we called the eight ball and someone had painted it up just like a big snooker ball and then there was another thing called the big pencil down in the 30s just looked like a giant pencil so i explained to billy i consider myself a piece of trash that's just washed up on the beach and the more colorful you are the more you'll be remembered <laughs> on the seashore to which he laughed happy valentine ralph shithead <laughs> love you both put us on some fish oh look there's some birds This boy must really love his fishing because it is <clears throat> cold out there. <laughs> Even the dogs don't want to get out, do you, little ones? No. But who knows, we might catch a fish or two. Which is all right by me. Must be reminiscent of fishing England. Uh, I went out there. Okay. It's right on that bar. <laughs> I think he's a little chilly. That is colder than a witch's tit out there, my hands. Oh. <laughs> Isn't that cold? It's crazy. Since I fish the North Sea. And less than five minutes later, he said, forget it, it's too cold. <laughs> he said his hands were freezing. <laughs> Oh, he's got us a bit of weed. Look at that. Can you see it coming in? Yeah. <laughs> oh, well. It gave us something to do anyway. We get bored at home. And I think that's where we're headed. Well, there's one good thing. It's freezing cold out there, but um, we're not seeing any stunned turtles. So that means the sea temperature must still be pretty high. Maybe in Might the 50s. After Monday. <laughs> yeah, but at the minute, Two nights at the 20s. We've, we're all the way down nearly 45, 46, yeah. and we ain't seen any. So that's a good sign. where the corral was. I don't know if they're going to be using that this year. It's strange that they're building it up like that. As you can see, they've cleared a lot of junk. There's a lot of junk underneath it. You're going to have to get off your seats, mates, and dig it out with a shovel. Gonna be there. I don't care.
if I spend all night on the way there where the fish are going to bite, I'm going to be there. Well, all I want is a good strong bite. Wanna see? 